Hey guys, what's going on? So today is the first video with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I have no idea how this audio or video is gonna turn out, but I've got some new parts for the Silverado that just came in from UPS. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Nothing nothing crazy. What we're gonna be doing is adding the infotain, uh, information center uh, to the Silverado. This is a 2009. This will work from 07 to 13. Um, I have a LS model, so it just has the push button and I don't get the tire pressures or all the extra little screen features. All these trucks are equipped for it, even the work trucks. So you just got to buy it. It's 50 bucks. So let's go ahead and install it and see how it is. Also, if you're looking for the part, I'll leave a link in the description. No, this is my 2009 Chevy Silverado four wheel drive. It's in the cab. 4.8 LS. It's a base model truck. Nothing fancy about it at all. And one thing is it was, it was a work truck, so it's got this switch right here that doesn't do anything anymore because the module is bad. And I don't have the info system right here. Well, according to online, you know, Dr. Google and forums and Facebook pages, I can actually add the one with the buttons. So I went ahead and bought one, it was 50 bucks. So let's give it a try. We'll take this one out and we'll see how so it So this does. should be about a five minute job. So the first thing we gotta do is get the old one out and the new one in. But in order to do that, we gotta take the side piece trim off, pop this panel down, just like that. Just pull on it, pop it down. And then grab on this one pull it out then we've got to disconnect the switch that they hooked up there's our cable that we need and we'll disconnect all that so we can transfer it to the new one so here's the new one it's got the buttons right here and here's the old one so i've got to get a phillips head really quick just to pop these out um and then we should be good to go with that taken out of there i can just Simply put it over here, and clipped right in place, and we're ready to install this new one. Oh yeah, that looks real good. It's a lot better than the old one. And now the process is just reversed. I don't know if y'all can see that, but now we have it here. We'll just line these all up and clip it back in. wire for the strobe light system and tuck it away in case I ever need it again for anything. All right, <clears throat> took me a minute, but I got it in. It looks good. Um, it doesn't line up perfectly, unfortunately. Um, you know how aftermarket stuff is. So I'll go ahead and put this last bottom piece on. It did fight me quite a bit. Um, but hey, so that's installed. Let's see what it gives you because everyone's going to be like, why even spend the money? It's 50 bucks. All right. So before you only have this button that you can press and you don't get a whole lot of options. Now I've got odometer display language, auto door locks, yes or no, unlock, remote door, unlock, delay door lock, exiting lighting, approach lighting, factory setting restore, um, let's exit those, trip, fuel range, average fuel economy, fuel used, let's see if we can reset that, timer, trans temp, 
Now we can go to information, 88% oil life, units is English. I don't have tire pressure monitoring systems and uh, sensors on my tires. Uh, engine hour, 5,700. <laughs> wow. Relearn keys to add more keys. So yeah, you get a lot more features by having this little panel. Um, you know, it's just good information to have. And for 50 bucks, I think it's well worth it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below.